We're hoping that our data will lead to a new standard, a new understanding that will help manufacturers in developing uh, helmets that will perform better and reduce the risk of concussions. There are biomechanical variables that are associated with concussion. Is it how hard you get hit? Is it how often? Is it the location? That would be our first goal. The, the long-term goal would be to take that understanding and then apply it to helmet standards and helmet design, make that data freely available to manufacturers and to standards organizations that set standards for protective equipment. We would like to know, are there any therapeutic targets that we could target and um, develop treatments for within the first couple hours, couple minutes after an impact where we could really make a big difference in helping an individual restore their function to the brain and prevent some of the devastating uh, effects of concussions that, that people have read upon in, in, in the news. So this was one of the earlier prototypes of the sensing system that goes in the football helmets. This fits between the pads in the helmet and under each one of these rises is an accelerometer, which is an electronic sensing device similar to what sets off your airbag in a car collision. Um, these were placed in the football helmets of the players that were interested in the study, as well as a slightly different version in the men's and women's ice hockey helmets. This technology allows us to record uh, all the impacts. We can record up to 100 impacts per game, but we can also continuously stream impact data to the sideline. Every helmet standard in the world is been developed only to prevent skull fracture and subdural hematomas, which is a severe brain injury. Right now, there's no standard for reducing the risk of concussions. And what we're trying to do in the laboratory is to see are there more sophisticated methods that we can develop that represent more real life impact scenarios, such as occur daily on the football field in um, vehicle crashes, but also for veterans on, on the battlefield. For more information on biomechanics, engineering, and concussion research at Brown, please visit www.brown.edu forward slash academics forward slash engineering.